What are the documents for masters in Germany? What are the documents for bachelors? Can I apply with the medium of instruction certificate? Do I need APS certificate for the visa? If you are clueless about the documents you need for studying in Germany, this video is for you. Applying to German universities and the German student visa is simple if you know what you're doing and what documents you have to submit. In this video, I'm going to list out all the documents you need to study in Germany in 2024 and I'm going to divide this video in two parts. First, documents for application and second, documents for the German student visa. For your university application, every German university has different requirements if you're doing masters or bachelors, but most of them are the same. This includes first, your 10th and 12th mark sheets, second bachelor's degree and transcripts. And if you don't have your bachelor's degree available, you can apply with a provisional degree from your college. Third is the language certificate. For English, you can use IELTS or TOEFL, but if you're applying to a German taught program, you would need German proficiency certificate from Goethe. What level of German? Well, that depends upon the university requirements. German taught programs demand a German level of B2 and above, but there are some English taught programs which also demand a German language certificate. So thoroughly check all the requirements and then apply. Fourth, you need your statement of purpose and your CV. One small tip. Please don't paste the same SOP everywhere, especially when you're applying to different courses in the same university. Fifth is your letter of recommendation. It can be from your college professors or supervisors at your company. And you also might need a work experience certificate for some management courses and it boosts your application. Sixth, if you have taken part in any co-curricular or extracurricular activities regarding competition, courses, projects, anything, attach those certificates because it will help your application. Seventh, German universities have started demanding GRE and GMAT because of the rising number of students coming to Germany. If you have to submit these scores, more than 310 in GRE and more than 650 in GMAT is generally considered a very good score. Some universities have a minimum score requirement for these exams, so check the requirements. Also, I hope it's clear that you don't need both of them at the same time and if you want to know more about GRE and GMAT, Click here. Eighth is the test AS exam if you're going for bachelors. It is a mandatory exam for anyone who wants to pursue bachelors in Germany, so you have to attempt it. And finally, the APS certificate. You'll find all the checklists on the APS official website, and I think that does the job. It's linked below. And these were pretty much all the documents you need for applying to a German university. Of course, some universities might have one or two extra documents, so check your requirements and please, and please do your please research. Do your you apply to the visa when you have an admit letter from a German university and also when you have the APS certificate. There's an official checklist from the German embassy, but I'm going to mention some pointers which are very important and it might help you not get a rejection. First, of course, is your passport. Second, your application form and the declaration form. Third, you need a motivation letter and your CV. Please make sure you write the motivation letter yourself and describe properly why you want to go to Germany and what are your future goals. And if it's not clear already, please, please don't, don't lie. lie. If they catch you lying, Khatam. Bye bye. Tata. Goodbye. Gaya. Fourth. Duh, your admit letter from a German university. Fifth are your education certificate, which include 10th and 12th mark sheets, bachelor's transcripts, and your bachelor's degree. Sixth, you need a language certificate of English or German, but in any case, you need B2 level in the language of instruction of your course. For those who want to know about the medium of instruction or the MOI certificate from your university, it is it useless. Is useless. MOI is not accepted by the German embassy, so you need an official language certificate. Seventh is the proof of financial means. First, either the proof of a blocked account with 11,208 euros for the first year of your education. Second, proof of scholarship, which covers your living costs and not just tuition fees. Third, sponsorship affidavit along with financial documents of the sponsor. Not a lot of students get scholarships or sponsors, so blocked account is the best option. If you open your blocked account with Expatrio's value package, you not only get free items, but you will save a lot of money. Their value package not only gives you a cash back of 249 euros, but they also give you a lot of free stuff. Firstly, after you take the value package, you don't pay any setup fees, so you directly get a cash back of 49 euros. Second is the health insurance cash back. The TK Flex offers an additional cash back of 90 euros per year for every year you're insured with the TK health insurance. You just have to choose five out of the seven services and the cashback is directly sent to your current account. You also get a free current account with Expatrio's value package. Fourth is the free travel insurance. You get 95 euros worth of free travel insurance, which is mandatory for visa and with faster confirmation to avoid hassles. And finally, you also get a free Isaac card, which is an international student card providing more than 1,50,000 offers and discounts on travel, 
available food student supplies etc so if you're moving to germany you can take advantage of this offer and you can sign up with the first link in the description or use code bharat and germany eight in case you have tuition fees you have to pay them for the first two semester and provide a payment receipt ninth is three recent passport pictures according to the requirements tenth is the travel health insurance which is mandatory and it is different from the public health insurance in germany and finally the aps certificate and that was the long long list of documents you need to study in germany if you still have some doubts comment below and i'll check them out and share this video with your friends who want to study in germany that's it